So guys, I've just spent the last hour hiking the trails here near Casares, breathtaking mountain ranges, nature, the smell of vegetation, and the only annoying person around is myself talking. But otherwise, you have such peace and tranquility. You are embedded around nature, stunning mountain ranges, birds that sing, chickens that cock. What do chickens do? So when you're looking for such a lifestyle that is alternative to the busyness that you may be experiencing right now, Patrick and I have a new listing, which is only five minutes from Casares, 20 minutes down to the beach, 25 to Soto Grande. You are very close to everything, but far enough to enjoy this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mara Brothers and to our newest listing. Let's go. Yeah, why don't we come? Yeah. Show me clothes. Yeah. Why don't we come? Show me clothes. Yeah. Why don't we come? Yeah. Show me clothes. Now you understand what I mean with being immersed in nature and having this dramatic scenery and landscape all around, don't you? And of course, as you have seen, we are talking about a cortijo style home with a nice courtyard that welcomes you in. And of course, gigantic two pillars that hold the foundation of the house and are very welcoming, right, Patrick? And of course, a, a little spa jacuzzi here, it's a fountain. But it's nice, makes nice noises. Are we ready to show them what's inside, Patrick? Yeah, let's kick it. Let's kick it or push it? Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> and welcome inside of this 542 square meter built home now what i love the most about it and i have to say it, patrick hold your horses so many picture window french windows exposing all that landscaped drama that happens outside of the house now let's start with room number one patrizio which is right over here i call it the cuddle snuddle cinema room let's go So this is the only room that has a fireplace and it would be the room that you come in retreat after a long hike in the mountains, put a nice fire on with the wood you've collected, read a book and become a philosopher. Right, Patrick? As I was saying, we have French windows right here exposing the landscape. Should we go outside now? Later. Good call. And of course, moving out of the formal living area, we have the formal kitchen dining area and Patrick how well can you capture that picture window with a picture view can you picture it so. all right I also say that we're gonna put a nice drone shot so you get the idea of what's happening right here because you'll be eating here observing all that beauty and now of course right next to the dining table we have the kitchen 
big in size, what I very much like, Patrick, you have a niche that's an opening so you can communicate with whoever is cooking here. Now, this is a family home, guys. That's very important to note. So everything here is functional. It works. It's for Dinkum. And of course, it is utile. And Patrick, you're washing your dishes and you've got this view out to Gaussin, the little village that's just glued onto the mountain. Of course, your own little garden area. Can you imagine you're washing your dishes, Patrick? I have never seen you wash the dishes. Because we have a dishwasher. All right, let's go back. No, not back. Let's go outside. You ready? Come on. And what cannot be missing is a covered terrace just adjacent to the kitchen. And this is where you'll be having most of your meals because when you choose to live here, you choose to be part of nature, be part of the beauty that unfolds. I keep saying that, but it's so important, ladies and gentlemen. I, for instance, would love to simply kick back here, open a nice bottle of red wine because I'm a connoisseur of red wine and look at this. I'm loving it. It really feels so peaceful when you look at the valley and the hillsides and the mountains and even Gaussin over there. It's some, honestly, someone once said it's like a screensaver on a computer. And I, we couldn't have been more right. Dirty kitchen time, so let's go. Of course, dirty kitchen, everything you need here to wash your clothes, to dry them, fridges, shelves, countertops, another stove. Right there, a guest toilet. Right there, a storage room that is also, in theory, the seventh bedroom. Because this house has seven, correct. Now, right here, guys, let me show you, is the kitchen we have seen. And from where you're standing, Patrick, you get to see what a big kitchen we're actually talking about, huh? Do we? Yes, we do. Good, let's continue. I'm from here back to the courtyard. What's very convenient, by the way, is that you have the dirty kitchen. Wait, Patrick, don't turn. Dirty kitchen right there. Someone is preparing a paella, something very traditional, something very Spanish. And at the same time, you could, Patrick, I want to point this out. Summer, it's super hot. Courtyard is cooler. You come here to dine. And from here, you get a very good look at the architecture of the house. And now I will turn around, walk next to the apparent jacuzzi spa, to the first two bedrooms on this floor. So let's go. So you've seen it, oh, you've seen it in the detail shots. We have very high ceilings. I don't know if you capture that, Patrick, but we've got at least two meters and 50, maybe even three. Now, moving forward, bathroom you guys have seen. Now, these are two separate bedrooms here with a separate entrance that have a walkthrough. And we are in bedroom number two. And here we can really see, Patrick, look. I don't even think I would reach it. That's how tall it is. Ladies and gentlemen, spacious bedrooms, a lot of cupboards to so store your goods. And of course as well, French windows that lead outwards to a path that wraps around the entire house. Now let's continue, cause we also have a nice spacious bathroom, Patrick. Let's check it out together. Shower, toilet, sink, everything in a solid, good quality. A fly that's stuck happens. We are in nature. And now, let's go outside. We've seen two bedrooms. This is Patrick, the guest toilet. Have a look. All right, and from here, I say let's go upstairs because we have four bedrooms to look at. So let's go. All right, guys, time for bedroom number one, which actually isn't a bedroom, it's an office, but it could serve as a bedroom too. Let's go. All right, so, oh, in the detail shots, bathroom, let's go. All 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is currently the office. Check it out, computers, because there's a whole story I would like to tell you. Now, there's a lot of people that are moving out of big cities because they can work remotely anywhere they want. Yeah, super internet connection here and a perfect space to actually work. Let's go back inside. Before we go out, Patrick, I would like to say something to our viewers and subscribers. <laughs> Thumbs up <laughs> and SUB for subscribe because we love you guys. Now I'm an artist. If I ever change my profession, then it is from being a real estate agent and of a content creator to a drawer of hearts. Now guys, you okay, Patrick nearly tripped. We're keeping these things in guys because it's all authentic, it's all real and you're part of that because, and now drum roll, prrt, master bedroom, let's go. Now you've seen everything in the detail shot. Let's go outside, Patrick, come on, because there's something, again, I would like to talk about. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, this view of landscape, mountains and greenery that I absolutely love. This is so exclusive. You are really so close to everything, but yet so remote. You see Gaussin, as I said, in the kitchen, like glued onto the mountain. You've got this insane mountain range that is dramatic in the backdrop of the house. Everything just outside of your master bedroom and as well out of the office and another bedroom. Right, let's continue, come on. Okay, and now before we move forward, quick look, Patrick, at the bathroom. Let's go. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, bathtub, shower, two sink, and a separate toilet that you can close with the door in case you need more privacy, if you know what I mean. Okay, leaving the master bedroom, be welcomed to see two bedrooms on the left and on the right, sharing one bathroom in a detail shot. Let's go. Okay, and from here, ladies and gentlemen, there's still so much to see. And what we didn't say, Patrick, we have a surprise for you guys. I'm not gonna spoil it yet. Let's go downstairs, come on. I said it at the beginning, when we were first in the former living room area, that you have these French windows with amazing views outwards. I think it's time to show them to you, so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and now, this is what I'm talking about. The nature, the mountain in the backdrop that we've seen when we were on the terrace upstairs, and of course, greenery. And you can really see far out, and that is fantastic. Let's go back inside. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the basement and the garage really quickly through this door. Let's go. So this is the basement. You have a nice chill out section right over here. It's used for the kids to play around. And here we have a little gym. Let's check it out. As you can see, you come here, you can actually cycle and have a fantastic view outwards. And of course, Patrick, real quick, that's the door that leads to a two car garage. Not gonna show it. All right, just so you get the idea, if you are training there, this is the view that you are going to be appreciating and working out to. And from here, Patrick, we're gonna go back inside and show you the garden, the mighty garden. Hey. All right, so we are now outside just for you guys to remember 25,000 square meters of land here and i would say i begin by showing you the playground right over there so let's go
As you can see, guys, we have a lot of vegetation here. We have fig trees, avocado. We have cherry trees, oak trees, everything, lavender. Ah, oh, everything smells so real, if that makes sense, guys. If I were a child, I would absolutely love this play pit right here. Trampoline, slides. What is this, a swing right there, Patrick? I shouldn't. Look at it, swings. I would break it if I went on it, that's why I'm not doing it. But this is where your children would come and play and be youthful and enjoy their childhood. And in the meantime, you could come here on your Benchmate table and enjoy a coffee, maybe a glass of red wine, whilst you see how childish your children can be. Very cool, very, very cool. What do you think, Patrick? Yes, cool. Because this is in your own house. I know many of you have to leave the apartment, the house, and go to a play center, but you have it all here. Let's continue. Now, if that isn't enough, what we also have here, I'm so happy to show it, is a football pitch. Now, before I say too much, I would like to make a bet. Would Patrick be able to score a goal? Let's check it out. Okay. Okay. Is Patrick going to make it, guys? I don't think so. Just missed it. <laughs> He tried five times before we shot, always goal. This time it wasn't meant to be. But how cool is this? If you guys agree, make sure to give us thumbs up. And now let's continue our tour, Patrick, because there's more to see like the swimming pool. You ready? Let's go. And from here, as promised, this awesome swimming pool area drone shots. Let's go. Now I hope you like the drone shots. It's time to continue. We're gonna go up. Let's go. So guys, what an incredible garden. Obviously we couldn't show you 25 square meters, 25,000 square meters of it, but we do hope that we showed you the majority that counts. And now this is the terrace that's covered that I walked on before that comes out just from the living room with the fantastic views I pointed out. And before we end, Patrick, Come, there's still more to show. What a romantic picturette setting here. Obviously you have another table where you can come and enjoy lunch, dinner with Patrick. Your organic homegrown vegetation. Pick here a paprika or some tomatoes, put it on a salad, enjoy it. That's what life is all about. You can be so sustainable here and kind of live off grid. If you know what I mean. And now I'm going to grab a seat and I'm going to sit there and say goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Another Mar Brothers production. I'm going to sit here and just enjoy the rest of the evening. And there's a little surprise. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mar Brothers. My name is Patrick von Marasek. And this is my dear brother. Hello there. We are just fantasizing and indulging into the beauty that unfolds upon our eyes oh. and this picturette mountains that we have in front of us. And enjoying a little sip of wine. It's not just wine, it's red wine from Ribera del Duero, which is a, a region that only makes the best wines. Yes. Cheers. Sunset's coming, so stay tuned. Strike it, Centurion. Yeah, why don't we 